everyone welcome to uh, kvsn engineering youtube channel so today i'm going to do the lesson number 4 uh, uh ad chapter 24 uh, electrical system all right so uh if you still not watch uh, the previous videos regarding ad chapter 24 uh you can uh, go to my playlist and then there's a playlist especially for ad chapter 24 you can watch these videos and also uh if you are a newcomer i'm keshara vikramasinghe i'm a craft maintenance uh, technician so uh and also uh please share this video with your friends relatives and anyone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance and in future i am planning to uh, make some uh, website uh, for kvation engineering in this website you can take all the documentations like you know the, the lessons and also i will uh, plan to uh, upload some uh, some uh, kind of uh, pdf or like paragraph or something regarding the aircraft investigation reports and uh some kind of accidents happen all right so uh in future you can uh, uh, go, uh, go to uh kvision engineering uh, website also all right so no need to waste the time so let's go to the lesson all right uh today uh, i'm going to teach uh, at chapter 24 electrical system general lesson number four circuit breaker panels location and ecam page presentation all right okay so uh yeah so this lesson will teach you about the various circuit breaker panels found in the cockpit avionics compartment and passenger compartment as well as how to identify the main items and parameters of the electrical power generation system on the ac and dc elec ecam system right okay so the first let's go to the first one circuit breaker locations is very important right okay so the, in the first one uh, general okay you can see the standard circuit breakers this is the specific circuit breakers monitored and non monitored all right okay so in this you can see this is the closed position and this is the crypt or open position all right okay now first uh, standard circuit breakers the green circuit breakers are monitored by the SDAP, it means System Data Acquisition Concentrator, ATA Chapter 31. So when green circuit breakers is stripped, after a time delay, a message circuit breaker tripped with circuit breakers location appears, right, on the ECAM engine warning display. So the number of not the number on the top of the circuit breaker, you can see the number, there's a number, right, 33. Three. So the number on the top of the circuit breaker indicates the nominal current in a amperes right you can see this is the nominal current is 3 amperes okay all right now the specific circuit breakers you can see there are two specific circuit breakers the monitored and non monitored so the monitored monitored one the wing tip brake circuit breakers wing tip breakers uh, is depend uh, is uh, belong to 80 chapter 27 cannot be manually tripped remember this one cannot be manually tripped so non-monitored, this is the non-monitored, these circuit breakers must be tripped when flying on battery. So you can remember these circuit breakers uh, must be tripped when flying on batteries only. All right. Okay. So now let's go to the next one in the cockpit circuit breaker panels. Okay. There are some uh, cockpit breaker panels there. So the first one is 49VU. This is in the overhead panel, 49VU. So this is the high voltage. You can see these are the oxygen. The circuit breakers belong to the oxygen system and the circuit breakers belong to the lightning and circuit breakers for the ELAC and navigation, right? Okay, this is the, uh, you can see this is the live view of 49VU circuit breaker panel. <clears throat> and the next one, 122VU uh, circuit breaker panel. This is in the cockpit also uh, aft of the first officer uh, seat, right? So this is the one uh 122 vu okay here also you can see some circuit breakers to lightning and uh yeah you can see announced light supply test board supply wheel well okay lights out dome right uh you can see this is the 122 vu circuit breaker all right and next one 121 vu circuit breaker panel this is the 121 circuit breaker panel all right so this is the third occupant third occupant seat and the circuit breaker panel situated behind the third occupant seat 
all right so the, you can see the circuit breakers uh eis and you can see this deck circuit breakers belong to s deck right yeah you can see s deck one and two right these are the slides arm warning warm right ground flight these are the circuit breakers one to one vu and now one two three vu circuit breaker panels one two three cu work the breaker panels also situated behind the um, third occupant third occupant seat right you can say this is the location right these are you can see so many circuit breakers over there and the next one is one two four vu and one two five vu circuit breaker panels right so this is the uh one two five circuit breaker panels right situated here and this one to four circuit breaker panel. This one to four circuit breaker panel. And this is the one to five circuit breaker panel. All right. Okay. All right. So now uh, the passenger compartment circuit breaker panel. Passenger compartment circuit breaker panels. There are two uh, circuit breaker panels. Two thousand one VU and two thousand VU. Right. So two thousand one is in the aft, and the two thousand VU is in the front cabin. All right, so these are the 2000 VU. You can see the flush mon uh, motors, right? Flush motors for the uh, toilets, right? So these are the cargo compartment and air conditioning compartment outlets, lavatory forward, all right? And this is the 2001 in the forward, right? This is the aft, this, uh, sorry, uh, this is the aft and this is the forward, right? So for the aft one, vacuum toilet system, you can see forward left hand aft, and these are the lavatory aft, hot water occupied, okay? You can just uh, uh, go through these circuit breakers okay you can see the circuit breaker panel all right uh same 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 like this uh, aft and forward all right okay now the avionics compartment circuit breaker panels avionics compartment circuit breaker panels the one is 106 vu circuit breaker panel right so this is the uh circuit breaker panel there so to access you have to uh open the avionics compartment door right so these are the relays right you can see the speed contain supply AC essential bus normal control uh, control controller right so you can see right emergency generator reference right these are the circuit breaker these are the contactors relays and contactors right this is the uh, actual V right 106 VU essential transform rectifies over there right okay next one is 105 VU circuit breaker panel 106 105 VU circuit breaker panel is also uh, situated in the right side all right in the right side uh, 105 and 106 situated in the left side all right in the avionics bay uh, yeah this is the 105 right 6pb2 6pb1 2xb okay contactors okay right this is the live beam all right yeah that is the uh, for the circuit breakers and now we'll go to the ecam page presentations ecam page presentations for elec ecam uh elec system right 8024 all right the first one is 2.1 generator one or two right you can see engine generator parameters are green when normal right you can see these are the engine generator uh when, when it is normal it will become green okay you can, you can see this is the ecam page you can see generator one 72 percent and 115 voltage 400 hertz so this is in the normal configuration so generator one two indications generator push button switch at off right generator push button switch at off then gen two off gen white if generator energized amber if g energized or uh, de-energized is it amber if engine is stopped right okay next one generator push button switch at on this is the load 72 percent means the load amber if higher than one 110 percent right so this will become amber if it is more than percentage is more than 110 percentage right and the next one is this is the voltage we you can see the voltage uh, than 120 volt or lower than uh 110 volts right so this one also become amber if uh, the voltage uh become uh, higher than 120 volts or lower than 110 volts right and next one is the hertz frequency amber if higher than 410 if this will become amber if it is higher than 410 hertz or lower than 390 hertz all right okay now the next one is idg integrated drive generator one or two so integrated drive generator symbol and the parameters are displayed on the screen okay you can see idg one idg two right okay so you can see this is the 
like kind of uh, graph right uh, idg idg1 idg2 right so idg indications idg in white color normally white idg is normally in white color and idg in amber color amber if high outlet temperature if there is a high outlet temperature it will become amber and oil low pressure if there is a oil low pressure then it will become amber and idg disconnected if the idg is become disconnected and then it's it's also become amber and this is number one okay you can see number one white if engine one is run okay white if engine one is running and one amber if engine one is stop this one become uh, in this uh, in this one you can see this is engine one is running and engine two is off right right so 110 celsius this is the one uh, celsius right so oil outlet temperature this is the oil outlet temperature pulsing adversary if higher than 147 celsius and amber if above 180 celsius all right and next one low pressure this is the low pressure so low pressure amber when oil low pressure right when the the oil pressure is low then it uh, this message will appear right amber so amber disc there's a disc amber amber when idg is disconnected if the idg is disconnected and then it will become amber color and it's appear right disconnected push button has been pressed in all right okay next one apu generator apu generator okay you can see this is the apu generator right so the only the white apu gen message is displayed if the apu master switch push button is set to off if you set to off master switch of apu uh, uh, master switch push button if you pressed uh, set to off then only the white apu gen message is displayed right okay now let's go apu gen indications apu master switch is at on okay these are showing when the apu master switch is at on gen push button switch at off right it means apu master switch is at on and uh, generator push button switch at off right apu gen is in amber color off gen push button switch at on and then you can see the 94 load this is the load amber if higher than 110 volts plus uh, 110 percentage and 150 volts voltage this is the voltage amber if higher than 120 volts or lower than 110 volts or 400 hertz frequency amber if higher than 410 hertz or lower than 390 hertz right okay next one is external power okay you can see the external power right uh, these are the in the overhead panel the external power external power not available in this time the external power is not available okay you can see the external power right and the external power available in the when the external power is in available external power normally white normally it's become white becomes amber as here under voltage voltage amber if higher than 120 volts or lower than 110 volt or frequency this is the frequency amber if higher than 410 hertz or lower than 390 hertz okay you can see the external power parameters are displayed when the external power unit is plugged in and delivered parameters are incorrect all right okay next one is ac bus right ac bus you can see uh yeah this is the ac bus one this is the ac bus two right right okay these are the uh the pathway right line contactors right ac essential ac essential share so ac bus bus supplied when ac bus is supplying then it will become green right ac1 ac essential ac2 and not supplied then it will become amber color ac1 ac essential shed ac essential two shed appears in amber when ac essential shed bus is off remember shed in here you can see shed shed appears in amber when ac essential shed bus is off right ac bus bars are green when supply amber when not supply all right next one is ac transfer line ac transfer line these are the ac transfer lines okay you can see right so ac transfer indication example here uh, gen generator one uh, transfer to ac1 and apu transfer to ac2 so green when respective bus transfer contactor is closed all right and not shown when respective bus transfer contact is open it means if the transfer uh, respective bus transfer contact is in open position and this this time we cannot see any line but if it is in the closed position then we can see in green line all right in here you can see uh from the gen 2 there's nothing supplying but from gen 1 is supplied to the ac2 and ac1 ac bus 1 and ac bus 2 so transfer lines are green when the contactors are closed 
they are not displayed when the contactors are open all right so next one is the galley okay you can see the galley galley shade over there right so uh galley shade indication this is the galley shade indication so galley shade appears white when galley push button is at off right or both bus tie contactors are closed in flight remember right so this one will appear uh, when the galley push button is at off or both bus tie contactors are closed in flight all right so not displayed when all galley electrical circuits are supplied remember not displayed when all galley electrical circuits are supplied so galley shade is displayed when the galley electrical circuit has not supplied or only part is supplied by one generator all right next one is emergency generator this is the emergency generator right so the emergency gen line contact open right uh, emergency gen line contact open you can see like this okay emergency gen appeared here in the uh, lower cam so line contactor closed emergency gen normally white become amber as here under here the emergency gen voltage here you can see the voltage amber if higher than 120 volts or lower than 110 volts and this one 400 hertz frequency amber if higher than 410 hertz or lower than 390 hertz right so emergency gen parameters are displayed when the emergency generator line contact is closed they are green when normal right okay next one this tr it means transformer rectifiers right you can see the tr tr1 tr2 right so these are the tr1 tr2 so tr1 is supplied from the ac bus 1 tr2 is supplied from the ac bus 2 this is the essential tr so tr1 2 or essential indications normally tr1 you can see like this essential tr also you can see like this if the voltage higher than if the voltage is higher than 31 volts or lower than 25 volts then you can see the voltage is like this and uh, here this it will become amber color so become amber when the tr current is less than 5 volt 5 amperes and also if the current is less than 5 ampere and then also become amber color all right in this time the voltage is lower but uh, the, uh, uh, the current is okay right so the tr parameters are green when normal the parameters of essential tr are only displayed when it is used right okay next one is dc bus you can see uh, dc bus here right dc bus 1 dc bus 2 right so TR from uh, transform rectifier 1 goes to dc bus 1 and transform rectifier 2 goes to dc bus 2 and essential tr is goes to a dc essential bus right so the dc bus bus supplied then it shows as a green color right so not supplied amber dc1 dc essential shade dc2 so shade appears in amber when dc essential shade bus is off right so dc bus bars are green when supply amber when not supply right next one is dc bat bus right dc battery bus here is the dc bat bus okay you can see dc bat bus so dc bat bus bar dc bat green color normal in green and dc bat amber when voltage is lower than 25 volts okay remember so dc bat bus bar normally in green sorry it become amber when the voltage is low all right okay next one is bat one and two battery one and two right you can see this is the battery one this is the battery two dc battery two supplied to dc bus bat bus and dc bat, battery one also supplied to dc bat bus okay from dc bat bus is go to the dc essential bus right so bat one two indications bat push button at off you can see bat one off bat put button at on you can see bat one voltage this is the voltage 24 volt this is voltage amber if higher than 31 volt or lower than 25 and this is the current amber if the uh, discharge is higher than 5 amperes right so you can see the green color arrows green battery 2 is charging right you can see like this battery 2 also charging and battery 1 also charging and amber battery 2 is discharging not displayed when battery contact is open this is the amber color so bat parameters are green when normal all right okay the last one is static inverter okay you can see uh, the static inverter right so here is the static inverter actually the static inverter is using uh, uh, the, the, the when the emergency generator uh, it takes some time to connect the emergency generator and until this time the static inverter will power the aircraft right okay so the static inverter amber if voltage lower than 110 volt okay it will become amber if it is lower than 110 volts or higher than 120 
volts right so frequency lower than 390 hertz or higher than 410 hertz all right so static inverter parameters are only displayed when the static inverter in operation all right okay yeah uh, that is the end of this lesson uh, thank you for participating in this lesson i think uh, you got a good knowledge about the circuit breakers and the elac ecam page uh, uh, operations right things and showed in the elac ecam page all right so the next lesson uh, you will going to learn about the system warnings that is also very important regarding it chapter 24 electrical general right so the system warning uh, next lesson you can learn about this so if you still not subscribe uh, kvision engineering please subscribe don't forget it and uh, share these videos with your friends relatives and anyone who want to learn about aircraft maintenance actually this is about the airbus uh, 320 319 uh, 318 uh, 321 uh, uh, type training and uh, uh, practice lessons that's right? so, okay if you wish to uh, do any uh, type training or something you can get a good knowledge right or else if you like to learn about aircraft you can uh, get a knowledge from this uh, uh, channel all right okay uh thank you very much again for participating in this lesson and uh, we will meet on next lesson have a good day for all of you